Also, today we are talking all about calendar hacks. If you've been an administrative professional longer than, I don't know, five minutes, you know that this is an essential part of what we do. So today I'm gonna to be showing you some of my very favorite tips and tricks to help drive productivity in your calendar management. So let's get started, y'all. My name is Melissa Peoples and I am an executive assistant coach and trainer and that's actually a thing if you didn't know. I've been in the industry now for a very long time and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to calendar management. If you are in the Outlook environment, we all spend a lot of our time in Outlook scheduling meetings and that's not going away regardless of what anybody else is telling you. But at the end of the day, you have to learn how to approach calendar management strategically and so that it's taking up a small portion of your time rather than all day. And today I'm gonna to show you some of my very favorite hacks to make sure that you're being the most productive with your time. So let's get to it, y'all. Okay, everyone, this is a really easy way that you can send your availability for either you or your executive. Um, it's really easy, so just go up to the top and click on Insert and then Calendar. And then you can choose from any calendar that you have. And then I'm actually just going to choose my date range. Let's just say this is my availability for, um, let's just say between now and Friday. Okay, so on here you can actually choose what level of access you want them to see, just availability or limited details or full details. Quick call out, full details are great if your executive is traveling and you wanna give them an itinerary of everything that is already in their calendar. So, all right, I'm gonna choose availability only, and then I'm gonna choose only within my working hours because I don't wanna offer breakfast or lunch, and then, I'm sorry, breakfast or dinner, and then I hit okay. So here you go, here is the calendar. I personally choose to remove the actual attachment, and then as you can see, there is um, information on when I'm busy or when I'm free and they can choose to see if anything that works for them. This is a great way for you to send calendar availability without having to toggle back and forth between an email and the calendar. Super easy. Okay, everyone, so I wanna show you this really cool tool that you can use on your phone. So I actually am using the iOS, but you can do the same thing on Android. So this is a really powerful way for you to send availability on your phone. It's even easier than doing it on your desk. If you're currently using the native app on your phone, you should definitely make the switch over to Outlook. So let me show you what this looks like. So I need to send availability on my phone and it's even easier doing it on here than it is on the desktop. If somebody sends you an email and says, hey, are you available? You can simply click on reply or reply all. And then there's a little icon that looks like a calendar with a plus symbol. So you're gonna click that. And then from there, you can actually just choose send availability. Now a quick call out is whatever calendars you already have open on your phone at the time is what calendars are gonna populate here. So, so I can just simply look in here and look at times that I might be available. So you can go through different weeks and just pick what makes sense for you and then click the check mark and it creates this great little email that has all of the available times listed, super easy. And then you can hit send. So if you send this on your phone, this is what it looks like. It's a really easy email for them to pick and choose to see if they are available at the same time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the 530. And then I'm gonna click on create event and it's going to default to whatever the title of that or the subject line of the email is gonna default. So you can leave it or change it. I'm just gonna get rid of this and then move this over and then say Melissa. And then I'm gonna get rid of the meeting request. Now it's gonna default it to whoever it was, but you can certainly add more people. So I'm gonna add Nicholas and then you can certainly add a Teams or change the location. So I'm gonna look up, all right, so let me pick the favorite place that I like to go to lunch, which is the Sweet Lemon Inn. Um, and then you can you know, set up an, an alert or change it to private, whatever it is that you wanna do, you can do it all on your phone. And then just hit the check mark and off it goes. So it's a really easy way for you to manage um, availability when you're busy on your phone. So let's go see what that looks like. Um, it should be here, right here at 5.30, as you can see. 
So super easy, you guys are gonna love it. Okay, so this is one tool that I think is super underutilized in Outlook and is the reply with meeting. So what I can do is I can just click reply with a meeting, which is right here, or you, or you can do control alt R, either one. And so this one, I'm just gonna update and say one-on-one. -on -one. Outlook will automatically add anyone who's on the two or the CC line. So I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add Nick for this purpose. And then I'm gonna choose, so we're gonna do, okay, so we're gonna do five o'clock on the six. So I'm gonna change the date and change the time leave it for 30 minutes, and then I'm just going to say, um, and there it goes, and I can just hit send. Super easy. I love replying with meetings. Okay guys, so let's talk about calendar templates. When we create a new meeting, most of the time, this is what we're used to seeing. It's completely blank, there's nothing on the inside, there's nothing here to help drive or push intentional meeting management, and we're gonna definitely work on changing that. So let me show you a better way. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to click on new meeting and then we're going to make sure that our developer tab is open. So what you want to do is right click in your ribbon, click on customize ribbon, and then make sure that right here developer is checked and then hit OK. So this is an example of the template that I like to use. I like to have the meeting type, the objective, the expected outcome, and an agenda if it's over 30 minutes. You can simply just Click on insert and then you can insert a table or whatever other information that's important for you to have in here. So once you have this like you like it, then what you're going to do is go up to developer and click on publish and you're going to publish form and then it's going to ask you where do you want to put it. I am going to put it in my personal forms library and then I'm going to say um, give it a name and hit publish. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your calendar, you wanna right click on it and then click on properties. And then from there, you wanna choose what form you're gonna use. So click on forms and then up here, we saved it in our personal forms library. We chose the calendar hack example and click okay and then apply. Okay, so what happens at this point is now whenever you create a new meeting invite, that template that you created is gonna be in here. So let me show you what that looks like. You can just simply double click and there it is. So instead of having a blank invite, you have a customized invite that's going to prompt you for all of the things that are important for you. Okay, so I know that you're gonna ask, so I'll just go ahead and tell you, you need to do this for your account and your executives. I actually did this in a strategy session for my team because we were driving intentional meeting management and actually all of us just did it together. We used this template, we did it together, and then everybody saved it as their default as a reminder that we needed this information before invites went out. So it was really helpful for us as we were making that shift to intentional meeting management. Okay guys, so a calendar hack video would not be complete unless we talked about quick steps a little bit. Now I will say that technically this isn't a calendar hack, but this is a way to help provide visibility to your team that, hey, I've seen your email, I just can't get to you right now. So many of us could spend all day long replying to emails that are requesting our executive's time or our time, and you know, who's got time for all that contextual switching? This is one way that I use to help batching my meeting management, it makes it super easy. So this is my medium priority quick step. This is an email that gets sent out to someone who is sending a meeting request or some other ask that's not urgent, I can't get to it right now because I have other deliverables, but it does let them know that I have seen the email and I'm going to get to it. So this is what I do. So I click on reply, so it replies to the message, and then if you click on show options, this is what it does. It creates a flag for me to do this week, and it sends this message that basically just says, hey guys, I see you, but I'm working on some other high priority deliverables and I need to focus on that. And then I let them know down here that I will get to it by the end of the week or whatever the timeline is. And then I let them know if they feel that this is urgent, then they can reach back out to me. So for me, I automatically send this. If you prefer not to do that and you want to review it each time, that's totally fine. And then what it does is it categorizes the message for me. The category is medium priority. It marks it as red and it creates a task 
for me to schedule or whatever the text of the message is, and then it moves it to my actions to do folder. So it does all of those things with one simple click. I will say that I've used this for years and it makes a huge difference. A lot of the times people just need to know that you've seen it and that you're working on it even though you can't get to it today. So I would highly suggest you think about what quick steps that you can use to help drive efficiency when you're thinking about scheduling meetings all day long. So this is actually one of my very favorite hacks. Because we all get so many requests, as we are triaging our emails in the morning and in the afternoon, hopefully you're doing that as a best practice, you are making sure that you highlight the things that are specific like scheduling meetings. Because we get so many of those emails, it can be easy for them to get shuffled into the mix. And so for me, when you see something that's a meeting that you need to schedule, you can simply just click on it and then click on category and click on schedule meeting. And then whatever your best practice is, if you're moving it over to your to-do folder, which I hope you're doing that, um, then you can simply view by category and see all of the meetings that you need to schedule and then knock it out really easy and really quickly. All right, everyone, so that's it for our Outlook calendar hacks. I hope you'll join us next month when we get into number three of our vlog series. If you found this content helpful, please take a second and like and subscribe to the ASAP channel. And if you're interested, you can hop on over to my YouTube channel at Admin Gurus and join me over there. So thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye.